Hi, I want to give you a quick demo of uh, something exciting that I've been working on. I just spent a day working on this and it's really already super cool. So I'm just going to uh, jump right into it. So what I built is a um, an interactive way to run a 5 a.m. test in Slime. So let me just give you a quick demo. Um, so I, I press... Uh, so if I press Control C, Control C, I run a command, right? And that's how you you would typically do test during development. You would have a command that you're running, um, you know, after every every small change. Sometimes I would even do, you know, get like make something. I'll do get commit minus a minus m dot 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 because I want to commit every time the test passes. And I wanted to get a similar test driven develop test driven de TDD workflow for uh, Lisp. So here's how I'm going to do this. So I'll press Control C V, uh, and it's a it's slight run, and here's the command that's going to run the specific set of tests that I care about. So you can see it gives me a an overview of all the tests that have passed and failed. Um, I can press Enter. Um, you can see it gives you details of this. Um, out here, I can even press um, all uh, M dot to jump to the test, right? Which is usually very difficult. It's one of the big um, things that slows me down when doing TDD in common Lisp. Um, this, this last feature only works on Lispworks and you need um, a patched version, patched version of 5AM. Um, yeah, let me show you how a failed test looks like because that's usually the interesting one. So I would press CV and I'm going to go through my history and this this is this command runs all the 5am tests it takes a second because I had some extra tests uh, so you can see it brings the failed test to the top I can hit enter um, now here's the interesting thing one of, so notice that when these tests failed it, it didn't hit the debugger immediately but now now that the test has failed I've, I'm in this result I might want to jump I might want to see a stack trace. Unfortunately, Lisp doesn't provide a very standardized way to get a stack trace. So um, we do the next best thing. I have a shortcut R, which will rerun the test with the debugger. So I press R, it ran the test, and it get, it dropped me into a debugger. So from this point, I can uh, immediately start debugging the test. Yeah, uh, I hope that we can build on this uh, for other... I know 5am is not the most popular test runner for common Lisp, so I hope we can build on this and extend this to all other test runners. Um, yeah, please uh, check out my GitHub repository. Bye.